What is going on, Geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life on a rainy night. And we're here on the Geek server. Yeah, this is the Patreon server where Arali and the Geek and I have our patrons. They join us, we come play, and I've been on here all freaking day. Uh, and it's been raining here most of the day, and in real life, where I am, I live in Toronto, in Canada, and we have had a ridiculous, gigantic snowstorm here. Let me kill the HUD. Too much green writing. This place has grown epically. So, after we did the death run, guys, we headed over here and uh, we all built as a community. I put together this building. It briefly had some crafting stuff in it. I think it's gonna become the inns. We need a place for everybody to have a little spawn point. You can see how busy our patrons have been. Jeez, check this out. Almost got six of the trophies already. Uh, these were our community to-do lists. They're all pretty much done. Here, let's whip out the, uh, the torch. And you can see this place is full of dinos. Now, this is a modded server. Um, if you guys want to come check it out, it's really straightforward. It's patreon.com slash UTC. And um, when I first started this, guys, I thought for me to get to be a full-time YouTuber, Patreon was going to be a gigantic part of it. And the channel is growing so ridiculously this last little while. I, I'm not so worried about it. So I don't want to push this thing on people. Uh, if you want to come play on the server, it's like a cup of coffee a month. And it's a really friendly place to play. We're all one tribe. We're all one community. And everybody gets along great. I know I get messages from a lot of people asking me how to make my buildings raid proof and things like that. That's not my jam. I don't play with people that are going to attack me. I play with people I like. Um, and we, we get along great. Um, and so I have a couple little surprises to show you guys around this server. Um, Almost nobody will remember this, but way back in July of 2015, when I was doing my first ever run of Ark, the game had only been out a little while, one of the first things I ever tamed was an orange raptor. Um, and I guess one of the guys on this server has been going back, and I don't expect anybody to go back and watch my old Ark videos. They're mostly awful. God, look at that sky. Um, I should check what time it is. Is this a terrible time to start recording? Eh, kinda. That's uh, okay, we'll figure it out. Um, I had an orange raptor named Bolt, and it died. And Giddy Goblin, who's one of Arali's patrons, tamed me this in honor of Bolt. Uh, so I had a Bolt, I had a Bolt to, oh my inventory might be too full of stuff, what's in there? Oh yeah, I have too much stuff in there, okay. But this is the new Bolt. Pretty cool, seriously, pretty cool. Like I said, I don't think many people are going back and watching the really old stuff. That's called like season zero maybe in my playlist and it's just me goofing off. I don't accomplish anything over the course of 21 episodes. I played a lot of Ark. After that I, I left the game for a long time and the channel just never really grew. I played a bunch of different stuff and I came back to it about a year ago. I made 10 episodes on a, a, an unofficial open server with um, a public server with um, one other guy who wasn't really a YouTuber at the time. We made one episode together and then he just kind of went, oh yeah, I'm not a YouTuber anymore. So I was kind of left alone. And then the beautiful thing is I found a crew of YouTubers to play with that was on the Iron Mind server. Um, that's actually the first place Arali and I got to play together and we become fast friends and, and the rest is history. Um, and like I said, the rest is history because the channel's growing like a mofo. Um, so this is the place. I just want to show you bits and pieces. Uh, some of these rafts people are working on. That's Cryos. Cryos, one of my patrons. Check that out. Are you amazed or what? <laughs> what a crew we have going here. Um, and today we're going to build a raft. We're not doing anything like that. We're going to build a super simple raft. The kind of thing that you guys would do right at the beginning before you have maybe an RG or a Quetzal. Um, and this is the workshop. Cryo has worked on this as well. It's looking sick. It's got everything you need. And you can see these guys have been taming machines. We got every dang thing we need in this place. Um, and they've been sweet enough to help me out. So we're going to get started today, guys. And like I said, we're going to build, I think this is my guy. Yeah, Snaggletooth. This is one of the new uh, Baryonyxes. Uh, and I've got this Parasaur with us as well. She is full of every dang thing we need. She's one of our first tames. She's a little slow. <laughs> um, but we're going to move on out to this area. So that was our original area. Slowly this will, will fill up this area over here with some dinos too. Um, but today we're going to get started on a raft and check that sunset out. So I might need to wait for... Oh, come on, Jenny. Hurry your butt up. Um, so I might need to wait for... Um, the night to come and go and for daybreak uh, and that's cool i probably need to collect my thoughts get organized and figure out what the heck we're going to build um but what i want to do guys is the kind of raft you know those taming the rafts 
I built one way back in the day on Iron Mine, a taming raft, where before you have the RG, you can use it to kind of lure animals. You basically have a ramp up one side, you drive the, the raft up and you park it on the shore like this, and then you go use like a pteranodon to kite whatever you need. And you kite it and you kite it right up the ramp and it falls into a little taming box on a boat. Um, and I've only ever done that in vanilla. And here it's modded and we have advanced rafts. And obviously we've got the build limit for rafts turned way the hell up. So we can go crazy, but I don't want to go too crazy. Uh, I've got, you can see a bunch of resources. Most of what we're doing is structures plus, And then these cool little details are all from the advanced rafts mod. Um, that's it guys. So uh, I, I got a little bit of daylight and a little bit of sunset. I might as well put my raft in the water. Um, and then I'll give you guys a quick break and, and we're going to come back and we're going to get into this thing. So the advanced raft, and I chose the advanced raft large. Um, now these obviously aren't like building pieces. You just got to walk out and place them and they place. Okay. So it's the same raft, but I guess you can build more stuff on it. Um, and if we didn't have the build limit turned up insanely, this might be be necessary. But this is going to be the base of, oh, and, and here, let's let's check this out. This is one of the, the cool features of the advanced rafts, right? That's your standard view, right? You can do, if I can do it, yeah, 9x, right? Now let me grab this thing. Whoa, check that, zoomed right out. This is like I'm playing a total war game when I get a boat going like this. So one of the benefits of advanced rafts and playing modded, and it's something I haven't shown a lot of on the channel. Um, so in this series, gosh dang it, lag, it's one of the things we will show off. So um, like I said, I'm gonna wait for the sun to set and to rise again over the hill. We're located here on the tropical island south, the one with that big crescent moon shaped bay. And um, when it comes to boats, you can do some crazy amazing stuff. I've shown you cryos, um, but Joe, who's a patron of mine and a rallies, if we come through here, cryos both as well, but if you come through here, you can check this thing out. He has got this steampunky sort of battle barge thing in mind, and this is the work in progress. One of the nice things about playing with patrons instead of YouTubers is I know I can show off their stuff and nobody's going to get mad at me for showing it off. But check out the kind of stuff you can do. Now, we're not going this nuts, um, but we could in the future. And um, like I said, if you guys came, play, came and played here too, you probably could too. Um, but that's it. Give me some time to get set up, guys. We're going to get into this, and, and we're going to make a building video today here on the Geek server. And if all goes well, we're going to use this thing, maybe with a few of the patrons, to lure... I'm thinking terror birds. I think we want to tame terror birds. I've never been a breeder, and I think I want to do some breeding for the first time ever on this server, and that's a dinosaur I love and adore. And actually, the timing is perfect, guys. We are, get off me, we are in the middle of the Valentine's Day update. So I've got this Bob Ross of Arc hair. Yep, I love it. Oh, and I need to eat some food. Um, I've got this Bob Ross of Arc hair, but uh, um, they've added Fabio hair. And when you breed dinosaurs, they drop boxes of chocolates. So in the next episode from this server, you will definitely see me playing around with a little bit of breeding uh, as long as this Valentine's Day uh, thing lasts. And hopefully beyond that, we'll breed some very cool terror birds. Maybe make them gifts for the patrons. Um, give me a sec, guys. I will be right back. All right, guys. Turns out I can't read a clock. <laughs> It wasn't 5 p.m. It was 5 a.m. So let's get over here and we'll get working on this raft. My timing is actually perfect then. So we'll hop. Oh, come on. Give me, give me a hand, stupid advanced raft. What is going on? Let's just do this then. Okay, so I got started and put these things down while I was trying to plan things out. And I thought that I was going to have to wait for you guys, but the, I don't at all. So we're going to totally get into some building. And if you haven't done this before, I think this trick still works in Structures Plus. We're going to find out. I would hope. I would hope that's the way to do it. Yes, I think. So usually you can snap right under there. And yeah, whoops, I'll just have to maybe do it. Oh, come on. Maybe do it from the water. So the thing about Structures Plus, foundation's totally stackable, uh, which makes makes for, uh, but it makes for fun, but you can also pick them up. So this is, uh, this is probably the single most useful mod that exists if you're a builder. Uh, it basically takes, you know, arc and how you would hope that building would work in arc, and um, it makes it work that way. <laughs> so everything you wish you could do uh, with Structures Plus, you pretty much can. Whoops, except there we go. I'm sure there's a better way for me to do this. I don't think I have to be up or down here in the water. I'm gonna try and do it from up on top. Now this raft for some reason, oh, I'll show you another another cool modded thing. So advanced rafts, you know how rafts work guys, right? You can't go reverse. With this one, you can. 
Perfect. So I think that's set up for us to go eight wide. Let's see how many ceilings I can build off in this direction. Should be two, maybe three. It's three. Okay, perfect. And then ideally, I should be able to snap there, there, and fingers crossed. I think that worked. Perfect. And then uh, Structures Plus comes with this demo gun. I've probably showed you guys bits and pieces of this from the Gaming Evolved server, but that's not a place I've been playing like crazy lately. So uh, let's show it off here. This picks things up, adds them back to your inventory. Boom, shakalaka. So we're going to go do the same thing. Whoops. And make sure you put the gun away. I always say that. I always forget. Okay, so I'm going to see. I should be able to build out the raft in just about the way I want. I think I'm probably going to want more foundations now that I think about the design because um, this is going to have a, a ramp on the front. And Whoops, idiot. And instead of a ramp, I'm thinking I'm going to do... Um, I think I'd like to do stone ceilings. So I might want to do... I made ceilings. We'll see how it looks once I get settled in here, once I get, uh, get all this stuff built up. But... Um, uh, I wanted to bring you guys along for this. This is not one of my building tutorials. It's not building evolved where we go crazy grand. This is a pretty realistic thing that you guys could do. And ideally, we're going to do it in real time together or as much as possible in real time together. So one there, one there. Yep, perfect. So um, I built, like I said, a raft like this back in the day. But the idea is to, yeah, just make a little taming box. And the, the old one I built was a 3x3. Three three. Um, and with this one, I would really like to have it be uh, bigger than that. So I think we're going to go 8x3. And we're going to ideally have a big, wide sort of plow on the front of this where we can just run it into shore. And then I think if things go well, I'll make like a little area for me to stand and shoot whatever has landed in there. Um, and I think I want to do that with some metal uh, railings. Okay, perfect. So this, this I think, is what we need. Let's have a look. All right, now I have 11 more foundations. So this is probably going to work out the way I want. But I'd like to add a little pteranodon um, hanger. And pteranodons, I think, are the easy way to do... Um, to do this kind of kiting, the design that I have in mind for that. Um, so where do we do that? Maybe we do it off the back. So, yeah, here, let's get, let's get this this gun out of here and we'll try a little bit of this and I think what I'm going to do is put one of those big old hatch frames on top so if I do this right we will get a little two by two hanging off the back here why are you giving me a hard time uh, we might have a little lag on the server or maybe I don't know how to build Okay, let's just wait and see, because I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'll go see if I can build over here. I don't think it's lag if I can build here. Okay, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, we're going to have to keep messing around with it. Oh, that's not right. Put you there, and put one there, and then let's see if I can snap here. I can. Okay, I don't know why the other side was giving me trouble. Hopefully it doesn't continue to. Let's go see what we can do. Why? why i'm sure you guys will tell me if you build with s plus all the time why i'm having no no luck i know maybe i'm too close to the ground i think maybe that's what it is let's take this baby out to see a little bit and this view is ridiculous so let's go ahead and reset that let's try the six and see how that looks that's still still that'll be good for when it comes time to actually use this raft line it up the way you want to line it but yeah that was my issue and i'm not having the issue now okay we're good so I'm thinking if we do this on either side, on one side, maybe we can have a little um, little pteranodon cage almost. And then I don't know what to do on the other side, but I've made uh, a bunch of cool little decorative items that come with this advanced raft thing. Oh, I dropped my torch over there. Okay, and be careful where you aim this. This is a powerful gun. If you shoot it at the wrong thing, whole buildings come crashing down. So don't aim it over there or over here. My patrons would be very, very upset. <laughs> Um, but those, I mean, that's the challenge of playing all in one tribe. So far, everybody who's joined has been cool as hell. So I haven't had anything to worry about. I think this is going to give us what we want. We're going to see. Um, so I think my ramp is going to be, I think the whole thing, the, the last one I made, I think it was two blocks high. Ideally, this one is three blocks high, which means um, we're going to go. I didn't make a ridiculous number of walls. Maybe I left some back in my thing back at home. But I'll give you guys a quick example, and then I'll probably go do a bunch of building. So let's snap these out here. So I'm just going to use this one to stand on. But this is just your, your example of how to make this sort of the plow, the ramp that goes on the front. And we'll see if I can do it 
I might have been able to do it without these ceilings here. I can't remember how far. It is S plus. Uh, so it, this, yeah, this may have been useless. Um, but what I want to do is bring sloped ceilings out, out this way. Um, but I do, yeah, here, let's just continue the look and we'll see how we can get it. And this is going to be your plow. This is going to be the ramp that you get things to chase you up. Um, let's go grab some sloped ceilings, assuming I have the room in my inventory. Inventory. That's a much more fun way to say it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I think we're ready to go. Now, I the more that I think about it, I'm, what I'm going to want to do is give myself uh, a way in and out of this little space down here. Um, so let's just do that. I know it's going to bust up the wall, and I totally didn't have to do that. And then I was going to go way too high with uh, the stone. I think based on taming terror birds, which would be the primary goal, I think stone is going to be fine at just that lower level. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and go up with uh, wooden walls and I think window frames on the upper level. Let's see if I can make it happen. We'll do that. And then let's swap these out for our window frames. All right. So something like this. This is what I was imagining as a rough design. Um, and ideally, this little space under here is a usable space. I haven't figured out exactly what to do with it or exactly what we're going to put here. Um, but for now, it's going to look like that. And then what we want is, if I can make it happen, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Uh, and then let's find out which one it is. Is it? Yes, perfect. So we'll go ahead and do that. So once we've done that, what I'm picturing is sloped. I did ramps on the original version, and they just stick off. And I want this to look sturdy and intimidating and like, we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. I haven't built this. Usually when I'm building something for you guys, I've, oh, get that crap off my thing. Dangerous. Um, usually when I built stuff for you guys, if it's a tutorial, I've worked out like a bunch of different versions before I bring one uh, to your attention, before I show you guys the one that I'm, I'm planning, planning on working on. Here, you know what we're going to do that will just make life super easier. By the way, Giddy Goblin did not just give me uh, that orange raptor. He gave me a Mastercraft pick and a Mastercraft hatchet and uh, these glasses, which I'm rocking for the time being because they're one of the only headwear items, one of the only skins you can put on your head that is actually going to let your fro show. It's going to let you rock that, that big old Bob Ross fro. So I'm liking it. I don't know. Can you dye these these nerdry glasses? The ones from, they're basically the the Jurassic, the, the glasses Newman wears, Wayne Knight wears in Jurassic Park. That's the inspiration for these with that that broken lens. Killed by a Dillo, which, if you play Ark, that's an embarrassing thing. Uh, but I suppose, I mean, if you're face to face with a real Dillo, it would probably be a pretty terrifying situation. So no, no, don't want to, don't want to make, don't want to, don't want to feel too bad for Nedry. I mean, that, that could probably happen to any of us. So let's go ahead and slap these in. Another bo benefit of S plus, you can see. You can place these right side up, upside down. That's what I mean. Everything that you ever really imagined being possible uh, with building an arc, when you sit there and go like, why Why don't we have upside down sloped walls? Why not? Well, now you do. You just got to play modded. <laughs> so let's do that. So here's our little space. We get, I like it. We get some light in. This is what I was imagining. So that's what we're going to have there. And then if we come around to the far side, uh, there's no good way to do this yet. But let's swim on out. So I'm clearly going to need to continue this down um, for that to be a proper ramp. So we're going to definitely need to go one level lower. Interesting. Maybe I should have done the ceilings one level lower. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go get uh, more of that. And then uh, the rest of this build, guys, I think is going to be pretty straightforward. And I, I hope I've got the materials uh, to do it the way that we're imagining. Here, give me on there. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is just carry this design around the outside. So we're going to go wall... Uh, a uh, stone wall, wood wall, and window frame. And then uh, I'm going to do my best to work out the tweaks on the front of that ramp. I'll bring you guys back for working out this little area, working out a pteranodon hanger over here. And um, after that, I literally have no idea. We'll have to figure it out. I will be back. All right, guys. So here's how she's looking. Uh, I haven't, I don't know. It's still a work in progress. What I did was add another whole set of ramps on the front. I don't know if it's possible to even zoom myself out so you guys can see that with these walls. Probably not. Yeah, yeah, so you can see, kind of, that I've done that. I've added another section, and that basically brings it right down to the water level. So when we do drive it into a beach, it's going to work out perfect. Actually, we might as well give that a try. Um, 
Let's go ahead and do that. We'll take this thing out. All right, perfect. And I think eventually what I'd like to do is, is extend that there. Basically the design I have, but take down those walls to the water level and lower the ceilings one degree to make sure I get this done in time because I got another set of recordings to do tonight. Um, what I'm gonna do is just pull this baby up to shore and you guys can see. So that's more than enough. So if we were to, here, let's run around here. So if we were to kite a terror bird or a dire bear or just about any other dino in the game uh, and to get it to chase us, it's going to go ahead and it's going to follow us right up here. It's going to fall in. Uh, and once we have a back wall built on this thing, it's going to be pretty hard for that thing to escape. All right, guys, welcome back. So I've worked through the night. And I did most of what I said I was going to do. I got a big chunk of the way through it. And I was like, oh, how am I going to get Jenny out of here? And then I realized if I can't get Jenny out of here, I won't be able to get my new tames out of here. So I want to add a new gate back here. So that's going to close in. So if that's the case, then this method of, of shooting what's inside is definitely not going to work. So what I've gone and done here, let's go ahead and put a couple ramps. What I'm thinking is one side. I was trying to figure out, whoa, come on. Stupid. Uh, this game is so lame sometimes. Okay. Seriously. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, we know the one side is going to be used for a pteranodon, and that's going to be our little kite, basically. Uh, the thing we use to trap things in here. God dang it, guys. Building off-camera is absolutely necessary. Okay. Done. Okay. Life is good. So one side will be a pteranodon, and actually, do I have the building pieces here. Let's go ahead and put that uh, big old hatch frame on there right now, and we'll see how that comes out. Put you there, and reinforced trapador. Come on in. Okay, so we'll crouch down and put this baby like that. Okay, and we'll slap this in there. So this is going to be our pteranodon hanger. We'll land that thing on top, be able to keep it safe in here. And on this side, uh, I think what we're going to want to do is make a staircase up. Uh, and it's going to be a staircase up to a sort of a walkway around the top of this bad boy that we can use to shoot down on the inside. So did I make stairs? I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, perfect. I think four is enough. We go up one one level with each, with each one. Oh, God, placing these is going to be a fricked up nightmare. Good Lord. Welcome back, guys. Uh, so this did get super complicated. I want to take you guys in here and show you what I did. Um, one of the cool things about these stairs, if you have a look, is... I don't think I showed this to you yet. Oh, can't flip stairs while they're attached. You can flip them so they can go left or right. And so I ended up doing that, and it leads me up here. Now, the up upper part of this is a little bit funky. This is definitely not my best work and slightly derpy as this keeps happening. I keep getting stuck on stuff. Um... And having trouble moving around so I, I it may need oh lord it may need a serious redesign work in progress like i said we will see let's see if i can get myself up there but i just want to show you this little why so much trouble what is happening okay so let's let's try to avoid that chaos uh and i'll move over here yeah so i went and put this railing in over the top this is where we're going to be aiming in and shooting down at stuff uh and we've got this little area right here as well and I went and put a pteranodon in there for now so in the perfect world I'll show you guys how this thing would work and we're gonna save this actually for next episode I'm gonna get together with the geeks for episode 3 and we're gonna do uh, a little terror bird taming and kiting and hopefully breeding in the same episode but that's my ramp a little bit of a redesign ideally you would pick a fight with say a bear or a terror bird get it to start chasing it it needs to be an aggro dinosaur and um, you follow it right right up here. It chases you right up the ramp, and you hang out here until you're sure it's coming up right after you. And you just go boom, and it falls right the heck in. Oh, Lord, that's right over here. Jeez, what the heck's going on down there? Somebody's going to be upset. I swear those two things were right down here. I just saw those dang porpoises. Okay. Okay, okay, I think those might be Joe's. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But in a perfect world, guys, that's how it works. But like I said, this build video took longer than I thought. So I think what we're gonna do is call it there. Let's see if I can take this beast down into its hangar. Smooth, UTC, very smooth. Okay, guys, so uh, in the next episode, you will see me put this 
horrible masterpiece. Like I said, not my best work. You will see me put this thing to use, but for today, I think that is gonna do it. Nope, wrong thing. Boom! Thank you for watching, guys, and thank you for checking out this The Geeks server. I appreciate everybody who's watching this series. The guys who are on here, the guys who are contributing to me and to a Rally the Geek, they're helping us make our dreams come true. All I really want in my life is the opportunity to be able to do this full time, to make video f for you guys full time. And if the channel keeps growing, that's gonna happen no matter what happens on this Patreon server. Um, but if you, you know, if you do want to come play here, or you you just want to help me get to that, jeez, this is a buggy build. Or you just want to help me get to my end goal quicker, this is the place to do it. Um, but like I said, my content will always be free and I don't want to put any pressure on you guys. But this is a really cool place to play and I'm excited that we have it now and we're building the community here. Um, that's it guys. Thank you for watching this episode 2 from the Geek server. I, as always, in UTC. And I will see you geeks in the next episode. Bye bye. What what a mess. Ladders. We're putting in ladders. <laughs> Jeez.